Mastering commas in direct quotations. Hello, language learners. Today, we're delving into the world of punctuation marks, focusing on how to use commas effectively with direct quotations. This will not only enhance your writing skills, but will also add clarity to your written communications. Direct quotations are the exact words taken from a speaker or a text. We use quotation marks to show these direct words. But where do commas fit into all this? Let's find out. Most often, we use a comma to separate the introductory phrase from the quotation. This is especially true when a phrase like, he said, or, she stated, introduces the quoted material. For instance, Jenny said, I will be there at 6 p.m. Let's meet tomorrow, he suggested. The comma sets the stage for the direct quote, helping the reader understand where the quotation begins. Sometimes a quotation may be within a larger sentence. In such cases, a comma may be used before the beginning of the quote and after the quote, before the rest of the sentence. For example, well, she began, it's not as simple as you think. Notice how the comma after, well, separates the quoted phrase from the rest of the sentence. There are a few exceptions when you might not use a comma with a direct quotation. One such exception is when the quoted statement is part of the structure of your sentence. For example, I think it's a great idea to seize the day and make the most of every opportunity. Here, the quotation is a part of the sentence structure and doesn't need a comma. And there you have it. You've learned how to properly use commas with direct quotations. Remember, it's all about clarity and making sure your reader understands when someone else's words are being used. Don't be afraid to practice. The more you write, the more natural it will become. Thanks for watching, and keep exploring the beautiful realm of English grammar.